We would like to take this opportunity to honor Janet Lee Saunders, the highly esteemed Borough of Toto Public Library Board of Trustee President, upon the auspicious occasion of her retirement from outstanding service as a library trustee that has spanned more than four decades. In October 1980, Janet Lee Saunders was appointed to the Board of Trustees by Mayor Sam Cherba. As Vice President and later President of the Board, she has been instrumental in transforming the library from a building with books into the community's living room. When I came on the Board, Mary Neal was the director. And we had just moved in from the storefront to this building. And then uh, Joan Crowhan became the director when Mary retired. And that's when I really got involved, is to find out what state grants were available to use for what. And between Joan and myself and the board, we found all these different things that we could increase. Her exemplary leadership and vision helped guide the Totowa Library into the digital age. Along with her fellow trustees, she established the Totowa Library as a founding member of the PALS Plus Network, the Computer Consortium of Passaic County. We were able to put computers in, and I think we only had maybe two at the time. Pals Plus cost a lot of money. We didn't think we would even be able to join Pals Plus because it was so expensive. But Joan managed to, through the budget, save a little bit here, a little bit there, and got the money together to join Pals Plus. She was a key decision maker, presenting her forward thinking during several library renovations that included carpeting, lighting, painting, flooring, and ceiling tiles. Her input was crucial in 2011 when the decision was made to add the much needed 2,700 square foot expansion. We needed the room. We needed the room. We had the downstairs room that had a pole in the middle so that when you, we had the open house on uh, Christmas, you didn't have many people because they didn't fit. You, you were very limited. Everything was growing. The children's library was growing down there. They ran out of room. We ran out of room upstairs. We were able to do that. Together with the support of her late husband, the Honorable Amos C. Saunders, Mrs. Saunders generously donated the funds for the furnishings for the new children's room in memory of their son, Amos Jr., in 2012. My oldest son was an avid reader. He looks like his mother always had a book in his hand. And my husband's attitude was, if the books were there, they will read. So we always had books in the house. So when this came about, you know, we were fortunate enough to be able to do it. He says, we'll give the money to the library and let them, you know, get what they need for the children's library. So that's what we did. Under her governance, the library's lifelong learning offerings and services grew exponentially, including arts and crafts, book discussion and writing groups, card groups, coding classes, computer classes, family cake decorating workshops, fitness classes, knitting groups, story times, yoga classes, and more. Whoever the director was, whether it was Joan or whether it's now Annie, they would bring projects to us and we as long as we have the money, go for it. This is really the community building. They're here because everything is here. I mean, you can learn to play the mandolin, you can paint, or you can write your life story. And it's very heartwarming to me to see that it's being used. With her support, the library acquired many new materials and introduced the community to new forms of technology by adding to its ever-growing collection. In addition to e-readers, hotspots, tablets, and digital resources, the library also saw the creative additions of cake pans, museum passes, and the many various items in the library of things. And if you look at it, you can take everything, anything out of this library from a book to a drill and anything in between. You know, it's, it's here for the community to use 
and they are using it. During challenging conditions, including inclement weather, extreme temperatures, and most recently the COVID-19 pandemic, Board President Janet Saunders has shown unwavering concern for the safety and well-being of library employees and patrons. An ever-present advocate for the community, Mrs. Saunders officiated at hundreds of board meetings, countless open houses, numerous Dr. Seuss birthday celebrations, and memorable occasions including the library's 50th anniversary celebration in 2007. She has also consistently given her time and resources to help others as a member of Eastern Star and Rainbow Girls and a longtime volunteer at St. Joseph's Hospital. She has been upheld in her life's efforts by her beloved late husband, the Honorable Amos Saunders, and she takes great pride in her children, the late Amos Jr., Richard, and Pamela, and special delight in her grandchildren, Abigail, Christopher, and Matthew. By continually demonstrating her devotion to the borough of Totowa through her steadfast commitment to maintain and improve the public library for its citizenry, Janet Lee Saunders has established a model to emulate and set a standard of excellence toward which others might strive. The Totowa Public Library proudly congratulates Janet Lee Saunders upon her retirement and pays tribute to her service, leadership, and commitment and extends sincere best wishes for continued success in all her future endeavors. We're more like friends than we are board members. And it's, it's, been, it's been a pleasure to uh, be able to serve on this, this board. <laughs>